now let's try this again I yep right here ain't I the lucky one for the lever where did that mechanic guy disappear off to oh sharpen that for me Headshots are the key to victory or something. Oh, I do have to wonder about this. You blow off a vampire's head, it just falls down and... ...and regrows that head in a few seconds. But... Shotgun to the gut? Oh, that's lethal. There we go. Okay. There you are. <coughs> also, when her limb is oh, uh, cut off, I would imagine you do not want to have the bone sticking out of it. Mm. There. Find it? Yeah! I hope you were cool. It's not over. The exit is at the other end. <laughs> no, I think the disjointed dialogue gives this game a certain charm. Oh, oh I see. Friendly. I hope you're friendly. Well, at least you're not shooting at me. I think. Hmm. <coughs> so, this is the... Hey, where did you come from? Oh. Kinda hard to hit. Okay, shotgun time. I still miss. So here's the gym or the what would you call this? Well, let's say the gym. Or gym hall or something, and you have a large classical paint. Large painting on the wall. I have to say, this is the first time I've seen that. And. in a prison? Mm, can't go up there. Yeah, you cool? We cool? I'm not going to try to interact him since that might lead to actually attacking him. Right on target! Hi. Mm. Don't shoot my friend. Um. Hey. Oh, back to hell. Oh, it's actually a vampire. Oh! <coughs> the human warden is up there. Hmm. And you don't see vampires that use firearms all that often. Actually, I'm not sure they did that in the movie. At least the first one. Hey, ah, uh, so, good luck. Also, I think it's rather unusual for a prison to have such large, large exercise spaces. Hello! Please let me use this. gonna get in my way. There's got to be a solution. 
bad vibes around here. Hooray! I'll protect the rear. They'll be sorry they c Um... Please don't tell me the visuals glitched up. Okay, it's loading. Um... Please work. Okay, this is worrying. Ah, uh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, okay, time out. Oh, wait. Ah. Uh. No, ammo limitation, no health. Just running down. <coughs> See what I'm what I mean about it. sometimes you are just walking along now. the vampires to aliens and well except for the shooty ones it would work per per perfectly and now it's going to take its sweet time loading return to regular gameplay <sighs> no I'm playing this from a from a real physical disc I think I probably should make a CD image since it's spinning that disk quite a lot in the drive. And yep. There's too many of these blood suckers. Don't panic. Let's go. Let's -a go. And just a roll for no good reason. Ooh, we just made it. Danger ahead. <laughs> well, that was not Talk very about nice. hospitality. Okay. So I guess. I'm supposed to weave my way through between the barrages of gunfire. Except now it's stuck. Ah, and I then I get stuck in the doorway. Mm. Come on. You know what? You get the taser. Um, well, he was surprisingly resistant to that. I thought it would actually stun him. But nope. Well. Oh, and that is actually a vampire in a riot here. Well, next time we continue around here again. Oh, let's continue, since that was just about 10 minutes.
it. Oh, I made it back here. I need to save more often. Took, took a bit more damage, but... Well, let's try using one of those health vials. Heal six to five. That's nice. Those assholes got me! Yeah, because you don't know how to use doors. Like it. Okay, my mechanic friend, I suppose. The manual does give you a short description of all the buddies you get during the game. And they actually aren't. That doesn't actually mean annoying escort missions. Hello there. Mister. Don't look too good over there. Person. So you are Finish him off! And save the juicy morsels for me! So you're not going These to... These guys don't look too cool. Give a wide shot to give some sort of... Situational awareness. Hello! Hey, what do you think of that? So we have these creatures which are called... Vipers or They spit poison and have a snaky look to them. Well, not really, really poison since you don't get poison, but they spit stuff that hurts. Maybe I should take the manual out. Got it! Your print is in the box! Cool! I get to go without my nanny. Wait. Hurry to the service elevator! We have to get to the workshop! Oh, so... Why? You want me to fix your problem? A group of mechanics is stuck there. We have to bring them back. Pretty interesting, that thing. Okay. Oh, yes. Hmm. Can I get electrocuted? Nope. Okay, so we got here to get... Seth's handprint or fingerprints into the computer so he can gain access to places. I had either completely forgotten about that or the dialogue first time around was so confusing that I didn't even get that. And... So again, that dialogue was so disjointed that it didn't really tell everything, but now we have an earpiece which... allows radio communication. Um, so, which way should I be going? That... Okay, that doesn't say anything, it's just a light. Mm. Okay, what's... Oh, hey! An elevator! Hooray! And yeah, we met up with the big bat there We and need his... help! Go get the mechanics! They're on the other side! And his... No problem. Big... Beefy... or something. Ooh. Oh, let's kill some vampires. Take some vampires. Take a health pack. Back. So you get 15% of health every, for every vampire so you use take. And of course, there's those health potions also. And ammunition is nice. 
Yes, and there's the inventory. Ah, we won't be using the stun gun. And... Hmm... Okay, there's two health potions. Wait... What's that light bulb doing there? Mm. No, uh, the controls don't say anything about the flashlight. And you can only just really change your weapons in the inventory. Okay, hello there. Don't mind while I pop your head. Oh, okay, just I'll kill you all. This, this aiming does make it not to mention how the enemies are moving. It's a bit tricky to aim at. Also, okay, here wasn't so bad, but this. Oh, hello. Hmm. Can I go, go in here? Oh, oh, didn't see you there. To the landing. What? What does that have to do with anything? What landing? I'm gonna smash you to pieces. Also, since the vampire was feasting on that guy, doesn't that mean by the rules set up in the movie that he's going to uh, rise as a vampire in a bit? Oh, oh okay, I guess this was... No? You know, game it... It's a bit annoying since the glow around items you can pick up and the, the water drop effects look exactly the same from a distance. Um, great! Oh wait, it was this one. Okay, oh! I'm gonna punch your clock. Best strategy, at least with Deadhead. low numbers. Back up, try to get headshots and stake them to conserve health. Mm -hmm. So... Puffs of flame, but no explosion. Ooh. Hello. What is this? Hmm. Okay, looks like sort of a pneumatic drill. I'll give this some use, and I should probably end the video in a bit. But hey, we got a new gun, which uses something. Hmm. Okay. Die, you scum! Oh, it's a flamethrower. Probably won't be using that too much, given it doesn't give me the chance to stake them. Um, but uh, if there's lots of well, long time no see. 
Um, what are you talking about? I'll probably use the flamethrower <coughs> in some crowded situations. Hello. Oh. I think you have some kind of weapon on you, but you didn't get a chance to use it. Oh. oh! Fuck that hurts. Don't say. Look, the Adams family. Light. I have a shot lined up quite nicely, and then you go and dodge it. Then. Oh! Okay, the, I admit that was nearly. Headshot in, he was too in. <sighs> oh. I don't know if you can even get these things knocked down to stay them. I may able to do that with headshots and apparently neither with knocking their legs off. Oh, sorry. I have to stop to switch weapons. Or I guess this was the right way to go. Wait. Ooh, no, we are locked in. I'll give them a group rate. was a nice effect. Also, the whole bit that you have a clip you have to reload on weapons seems kind of a pointless feature since it doesn't make take any time to reload. <clears throat> so is that a way to go forward? Uh, so can I Okay, I can go back to check out if I uh, missed anything here. Hey, okay, hello, vampires. Oh, I see you there. Go. Whoa, I guess that was one of the mechanic vampires. They have flamethrowers. Yes, this was bountiful. Mm, so Okay. This is pretty odd. The further right the weapon is in the inventory, the lower the number to select it is. So okay. Number one 
is the phaser. Number two is the pistol. Last the shotgun is six. The flamethrower is eight. Oh, I see you there. Okay. Hey, what do you think of that? Um. So here's where we had to fight with the cutscene, so I suppose I'll end this here. So do I go this way or well Don't know. We'll check this out next time.